On today's reaction, we are continuing the Michael Jackson journey in chronological order. The next one on the list is called She's Out of My Life. I bet there's a lot of people out there who wish she was out of their life. Let's check it out. Okay, let's continue with this journey. Let's go. It's like movie soundtrack type instrumentation. Okay. The string bending going on. is winning because I don't know if to laugh or cry because some people feel that way anyway, don't they? You know what I mean? But I mean, this is very obviously heartfelt. The vocal um, the vocal that Michael's bringing in is absolutely beautiful. The tone of his voice is so good, so rich. Um, and then he's using a load of analogies about uh, like uh, good and bad. You know, I don't, he doesn't always feel he's, he feels unstable, I, I suppose, since he's left. He feels empty. One minute he's... Um, what was the analogies he was using? <laughs> he didn't know whether to laugh or cry, and then he didn't know whether to, or whether to like live or die and stuff. You know what I mean? Extremities there. Extremities. Check control of your life, Michael. <laughs> Let's go. She's out of your life. Go, accept it, mate. She's out of my life. Whoever she is. Mm. It's out of my head. Two years she was here, mm. and I took her for granted. I was so cavalier. Now, the way wow. that it stands, she's out of my hands. Okay, so he's using different words to explain the same situation. I feel like. Um, songs that have come after this where someone's took somebody for granted. I don't know whether Michael Jackson was the first one to sing or that. I don't know. Um, but, but I can't think of anyone before Michael Jackson. But it's, it's reminding me of like songs like uh, Bruno Mars, you know what I mean, and stuff like that, where they said I should have brought flowers and stuff like that. It's that type of um, vibe I'm getting from him. Are they all taking influences from Michael Jackson? Because he did influence a lot of people. You know what I mean? And he's, I suppose Bruno Mars's voice is not too different from Michael Jackson's voice in this vein. You know what I mean? Not that I'm trying to compare, but it, it, it's a similar sort of tone. But yeah, beautiful. Out of my hands. So I've learned that love's not possession. At least you're learning a lesson. Now I've learned that love needs expression. Mm. But I've learned Too late. Too late. <laughs> I knew that was coming. And <laughs> she's mm. part of my life. She's out of my life. Wow. This is a great vocal from Michael. Decision and curse it right. 
Hear the remnants of when he was a child singer. Obviously, his voice is broke at some point here. I mean, it's not broke much, though, because right? he's still very, very softly spoken. But I mean, when he gets the, goes into them high bits, it's, it's it, it was reminding me of what it was like when he was a child singer. It's, this is very, very. It's, it's obviously I don't know whether he's singing from experience here or whether he's just singing about the situation. But whichever way it goes, I believe him. So. And it cuts like a knife. He's a Getting choked up a little bit there as well, isn't he? Maybe he does mean it. Mm -hmm. Wow, very, very heartfelt message there from Michael. And it feels like um, it's that age old thing, isn't it? Uh, she was here for two years, this, that, the other. I, I should have treated her better. I should have, you know, not took her for granted. But now I've learned that lesson. I've learned, like, I know, love is not just this. It's, it's, you've got to show your emotions. You've got to, you know, make that person feel special in life. Otherwise, basically, she'll go. So for them two years, it was great. He thought everything was great. Maybe he's inexperienced with, with relationships and stuff. I'm not sure. But because he was so blase about it, he's lost her. And now he's learned his lesson, though, by the sounds of it. What an absolutely stunning performance, well, vocally. It's just Michael sat in a chair, but he's still encapsulated by his uh, his performance and his voice and absolutely and the emotion that's coming out of him as well. If only he'd have shown that emotion with his girlfriend at the time, he might not have been out of his life. Anyway, what did you guys think? Let me know in the comments, and if you like my videos, then please hit like and subscribe, and I shall see you all on the next video.